Hello and welcome back to Lost in Random. To Lost in Sixtopia. The dread I've been feeling, it's gone. I'm glad. I don't know. Something's still missing. But Dicey, I know we're moving in the right direction. Well, at least you've got me. I know I'm not sure Whoa. I'm but... It's not like anything I've seen before. It's... Not real. Ah! <laughs> okay, I don't think they spotted us. No, it, it's not real. Uh, this doesn't look right, but it's got to be the place. The Grand Gate to Sixtopia. Huh? What? What happened here? I don't understand. Is this really it? Maybe this is... Like a fake Sixtopia, meant to confuse invaders or something? No, no, it's real Sixtopia, but... No. <laughs> I don't believe this! Sixtopia is supposed to be this whole wondrous place that grown-ups have been telling us about! Since the day we were born! And it's... What is going on? None of this makes sense. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Why am I stuck? I'm not jumping down there. Come on. You can't, ex you can't expect me to jump down there, really. Oh, oh, oh Stu! What oh, mischief have you got yourself into this time? Ha <laughs> ha! That's classic Stu! <laughs> now. Good morning, lovelies! Good morning, Charles. Why don't you look handsome today? <laughs> oh, heck, I'm just the same old man I always was, but bless your heart for lying, lovelies. <laughs> oh, you're here too, Albert. Hey, ugly. I'm a big, stupid cardboard person, and I'm Charles' least favorite because I'm a mean, stupid idiot who falls apart all the time. Yes, yes, Albert. We're all familiar with your whole deal. Excuse me, uh, Charles? Oh. Do you care take care of these cardboard cutouts? Cutouts? Why, that's a fine way to refer to yourself. Don't be rude. Besides, would a cardboard cutout start talking to me five years into my job here? Eh, it would not. And since you lovelies have been talking to me every day since, let's just say I know you're all more than what you seem. <laughs> Even if Albert here keeps losing his head over this. Huh, you love it. Um, what's going on here? We've been here for 60 years. You ought to know what's going on by now. Yeah, what gives? <laughs> Though, of course, not much actually does go on here. <laughs> you stand around and I fix you when you fall apart. Easy. Easy peasy. Uh, but I'm not a girl, but cutout. I'm a real girl. Of course you are, obviously. You're all real here. You're real creepy. No, I mean, I'm real, but everything else here except you is fake? Oh, what do you mean I'm not real? Oh, now look what you've done. You've hurt Bedelia's feelings. There, there, Bedelia. Oh, she says mean things. I know, I know, I'm gonna talk to her about it, okay? But you're real. We're all real here. Charles, until I arrived, you were the only real person here. No, we're real. If we were fake, could my head fall off all the time? Yep. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare, Albert. I've had enough of that for today by far. You're alone? Alone? Ha! <laughs> I'm surrounded by friends here. <laughs> There's Bedelia, Claude, 
Claude Two, Snuggle Buns, Eight Ball, Big Tony, Little Tony, Average Tony, The Hated Albert. Eh. Boingy Boingy, Peanut Butter and Jam, they're twins. <laughs> Don, Donner, Donnist, Don Ultimate, Don Penultimate, Don Ultra Penult, Don... Well, I don't need to tell you their names. We've all been here forever. <laughs> Can you tell me your earliest memory? You, you, you don't talk like the others, do you? She sure doesn't. Should we be suspicious, Charles? I'm very suspicious. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine to be curious, lovelies. Eh? Yeah, my earliest memory. Hmm. It's when my head first fell off, 40 years ago. <sighs> no, it's when me and Pancakes got married. 50 years ago. <laughs> no. No. It was when I was young. Just... Just a child, really. The nanny came for me in that... That that chariot that walked like a spider. She dropped me here. Told me my only task in life was to take care of these props. She said my fate was never to be anything more than a forgotten janitor. And then she disappeared, and she never came back. But all I've done for every day of my life since then was live here alone, so profoundly alone, surrounded only by these, these parodies of life, mocking me every hour of every day with their ageless faces and painted on smiles, and I... <laughs> <laughs> or so I thought. But then five years into it, y'all started talking to me and you've never stopped since. <laughs> and now you're an old man surrounded by friends who'll never die. Ha <laughs> ha, sure am, lovelies. <laughs> Ain't that a blessing? <laughs> Why, I must be the luckiest guy in the whole world. Woohoo! So nobody ever comes here? Not ever. They pass through sometimes. That hardly counts. They go to the tower. Look, I don't want to talk about it. Nanny's chariot passes through on its way to the tower. The children get quieter and quieter as the chariot moves away. Then we never hear them again. Oh, how I could visit them in the tower. What quiet fun they must be having. Stima, has the nanny ever come back? The nanny? No, not in any way that counts. That's true. Her chariot goes by sometimes, but it only goes up to the tower. Up there. We hear nothing. How can they be so quiet? They're enjoying quiet, fun times, Albert, and that's all I will hear on the subject. Children, my sister was taken too. Then she's playing up in the tower all day long. How lucky. <laughs> uh, wait. Why would the Queen want the nanny to take one of us cardboard cutouts? It's never happened before. Maybe she isn't really a cardboard cutout like us. <laughs> no, she is. She's just lost her mind, that's all. I'm humoring her, see? <laughs> Tell me about your sister, lovely. <laughs> My name is Odd, and I'm going to save her. Now, lovely. I learned long ago it's best not to make promises to yourself you can't keep. Now, where have I heard that name before? Oh, yes! Odd! The Queen graced us with her presence not too long past, and she had a girl with her. Odd, she called her. She wore a white mask, I remember. She looked strange. Strangely happy, yes, as are we all. <laughs> ha 
They didn't have time to acknowledge any of us, of course. She's very busy. But they went out that way, right through there. Then right through there is where we're going. Well, I won't stop your cardboard lady. <laughs> but hey, say hi to the queen for me. <laughs> Remind her I'm here. I'm still here. Yeah, very sad fella, you know that. More than 50 years alone. Ah, it's horrible. My glassy is made out of, I don't know, despair. D don't get it on you, buddy. This must be it. The tower. What's inside there, Dicey? Is it a I can just feel it. She has to be. We've come so far, haven't we? But I still don't know for sure what you want me to do. There are the three story pages right here. Give me a second, Harry. Oi, oi, Maddie Dex here, card enthusiast and living store at your service. There's one over there. Oh, God damn it. No. Can I just run? So I see that we're blocked here on this. I've been up there. Oh no, we are. We definitely are locked in here. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was another one. Made uh, a very big mistake. In Here's something. Thank you. But more than I can see anything. instead.
Let's see, because I think there should be a way unlocked right now. Yep, there is. Nope. No, 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 no. So I really wanna see... Way to... That! Queen proved an effective general, and the war soon turned in her favor. Any remaining dice wielders who would not give up their companions were forced into exile, or worse. The Valley of the Dice hid itself from the Queen in fog, with its inhabitants and their power all but forgotten. Only the Queen's dark dice remained, all alone and all powerful. Oh no. No 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 one two three I missed one. Or it will be the last one. Yet when I don't quite remember. But I don't think I've checked each time whether we've got every page. So yeah. <laughs> you wanna trade your cards? I know you do. Give me. <laughs> Cards on the table. This is a bit outside my normal rounds, and not at all what I was expecting. But now you're here, and Maddy Dex is playing a sympathy card. You've got to buy something, mate. Please. You're nearly out of your stock. Manny, I don't understand what happened here. Oh, Maddy doesn't try to understand the world. All I understand is cards, and I understand now that perhaps you're looking to trade. You never know who's listening, mate. Now, let's trade and forget all about any treasonous thoughts, eh? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. 105. Maybe we'll be able to get that. all of his cards. After... Wait, wait, wait. Just been there. That's where we came from. Okay, this is seems to be connected. What's that? Who was that? It heals them. I think I saw it here. It definitely heals them. So I definitely need a bomb. <laughs> I definitely buy precious bombs. God damn it, I hate bombs. Thank you. Cards, bombs, no diamonds, not diamonds. Oh, let you kill him. Just let me kill him already. How come that we both make the attack at the same time? Like the attack finishes at the same time. Oh, here? Good one? Where is he? That's it, he? Okay, I can't make this explode. Apparently. I guess we'll try again. Why not? It was worth a try. 
Probably gonna go out now. Let me. Thank you. I think we're going in circles. It's exactly the same. Which doesn't help my complete lack of orientation. Really. Oh ho! Okay, well, you're here. I see. You scared the hell out of me. Oh, Don't pressure. fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. It's the sudden stop at the end that I'm worried about. Dicey? Yes, another fight in a second. No? <gasps> Garden. I feel it too, Dicey. You get close to it and it's like every bone in your body is warning you to keep away. It's... The goo. Almost as like it's living or used to be alive. I don't want to go down there. Which we'll probably have to. <laughs> you wanna trade your cards? I know you do. No, I don't think we will have enough to buy all oh, yeah. We don't have nearly enough to buy all those cards. Oop. Mm-mm. There it is. On the page. Please tell me this is the right way to get to it. Yep, it's definitely the right way. I love it. In her victory, the queen fractured the world into six isolated fragments. One for each side of her one true dice. And there was a new rule imposed. Every child, upon reaching the age of 12, would roll her dice to see which district they'd move to. It was fair and just. 
The law of one dice instead of the chaos of many. But there was more to the story. A secret known only to a few. That's it. Oh, it's another one on the other side, though. Seymour, is that you? Oh, oh no. Seymour. Oh no. If we're given the eye. Seymour. Is he? <laughs> You're alive! Oh, is that you even? I was just <laughs> resting my eyes. <laughs> Seymour, your eyes! They didn't even make it about a number. They just took all three. <laughs> I'm gonna get you out of here. <coughs> you have no, one of his even hands. you can't. There's too many. You'll never be able to. <laughs> what are you doing? Give him the eye! Careful, even! <laughs> Broke crystals, damn it.
I like the muffin. <laughs> Not for now. Have to make it work. Look at me! Oh, that. <laughs> Shoot your pals. Give me that, give me that, and give me that. Come on, get over here. Don't worry, nothing bad will happen to you. You're even tougher than I knew, even. What happened to you? Uh, Nanny Fortuna happened to me, I'm afraid. She caught me in Forberg, captured me, tried to get me to talk about you, but I didn't tell them anything even. Told them my name was Seymour, not Talkmore. <laughs> that's when, that's when she started taking my eyes. But what about you even? I, I thought you were going home. W what made you change your mind? I realized. Realized what? That the Queen's hold has been suffocating this world, and now I am to break it. That's the spirit, even. The Queen. She's more powerful than you think. And from what I've overheard, your sister is changed. She won't be what you expect. Oh, I'm sorry, even. About all of this, we adults messed up the world, and somehow it's been left to you to fix. 
the child sent to face off against the most twisted and dangerous being and random, and it's, it's not right. I'm sorry I can't stop you, even. And I'm sorry I can't help. There's always hope, Simon. There is. Whatever's happened to your sister, I, I don't think it's gone all the way yet. Just be careful. There's nothing I can do to help you now, especially given my uh, current condition. You know, a guy called the visionary gave me this Magica eyeball. eyeball. Oh, 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 thank you. Now, all we have to do is survive Nanny and the Queen and her minions, and we'll fix everything. Let's go. Hey, whoa. Seymour, you're, you're in no condition to fight. You need to rest. I can't let you do it alone. I'm not alone. Seymour, when this is all over, there will always be a place for you in one town. I'd, uh, I'd like that, even. Like that. Oh, it's gonna be it for today. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!